My name is Mike Waters. I'm a singer songwriter from Melbourne. Sometimes I need to think before I speak. I make some mistakes. I played guitar since I was little, but sort of not very well and never consistently. But about two years ago, I started writing songs, and then I, I eventually got the courage to play one to a friend if he told me. My first gig was possibly my worst gig. I played three songs at an open mic night and I was shaking so much because I was so nervous that I could barely, barely get them out. One of the songs that I played was Daisy, which is on my EP, and uh, I've written it like three or four nights before that and I had to get up there and, and play this song in front of what amounted to probably like 10 or 12 other people in the room. Sometimes I'll write a song that's pretty much finished and then maybe a couple of months later I'll go back and I'll come up with a new section or I'll change something completely or um, I have a lot of bits and pieces that I that I take from every time I write a song. I have these voice memos on my phone a lot. something I'll just record a voice memo of me playing guitar or just a voice memo of me singing something. You know? um, it's all memos and notes but sometimes I can piece together a song from from those those bits you know it might be uh, just just take a hook and then one day see how it goes. But I tend to write most of my songs in bed. I guess that's what they've got in common. I think Melbourne has a really great music vibe. Um, just like live music is such an integral part of, of just nights out here for so many people, and I, I really, really like that. One of my favourite songs to perform is uh, a song I wrote called Dreams, which I wrote about my my mum. Um, it's a very it's very personal to me, so I, I liked singing it. Um, at first, it was sort of hard, but it was you know it's, it's sort of become easier. It's just nice to sort of put it out there and, and and just tell people. I think the people that are you know watch me play just tell them more a bit about myself. And that song is about my mum. She passed away when I was 15. And uh, the idea behind the song is that, well, it, it's not just the idea behind the song, it's that she still comes to visit me sometimes in my sleep, in my dreams, and it always acts as if, well, I, it's as if she never left. So um, we just, you know, we can talk about things. And, and yeah, so there's, that's really what that song's about. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just a very,
family, my mum listened to a lot of musical theatre, and so I, you know, I know just the soundtracks or the classical musicals. That sort of stuff, I think, plays into my songwriting sensibilities a little bit as well. When I was growing up, my sister listened to a lot of Hanson and pop from the 90s, and so that sort of stuff always sticks with me. It's kind of why I think I, I write most of my stuff in the major key. Like my best gig is uh, one of my most recent ones, I'd say. That was my uh, EP show in Melbourne for my life EP. That was at Shabin and was just the crowd response was, I just never expected it. I was really worried sort of going in there that maybe no one was going to show up or, you know, because like, you know, you can't really tell with these things, but we got heaps of people across the door and it was just such a, a big night. More than anything, I like to just get up there and perform. I think more once I once I'm up there, that's when it's it's sort of a lot more comfortable. It's the beforehand that sort of makes me nervous, and I never quite sure what to do to make myself feel comfortable. So I don't know, I might have a drink, or I might have a, you know, I might try and eat something. I don't know, but I don't really have anything specific that I do. My EP life has been really great so far. It's still pretty new to me, but it's, it's such a personal collection of songs that I wrote about things, you know, about me. So it's like it's like my, my child, that EP is very, very personal to me. 